Welcome to the presentation for the dissertation project of An Investigation into Decoding Imagined and Inner Speech Processes from Commercial EEG Devices. This presentation will cover the project's motivation, leading on to the developed aims, followed by showcasing the used apparatus to collect on data. The employed methodology is then introduced, lastly covering the achieved outcomes. Effective human communication heavily relies on verbal exchange of information. However, the ability to speak is a complex process which can be compromised by various causes. A number of methods exist aimed at restoring this ability, as simple as charts with pictures to as complex as devices with message voice output. However, a more natural way of producing speech is using direct brain signal, decoded by means of integrating BCI technologies with ML algorithms and Volkers. There are various techniques of detecting neural activity. This project selection falls upon EEG as a promising, non-invasive, affordable and portable solution. As such, three main aims to this project are derived. As the research field lacks a variety of publicly available datasets, the first aim was to record a novel set of open-source EEG speech data from a commercial-grade device. Output EEG signal from BCIs is minimally processed, but is still polluted with artifacts. Some deep learning methods promise to learn even from polluted signal. Another option is to manually decompose EEG signal before providing it to ML algorithms by pre-processing and extracting statistical features such as linear, nonlinear, and MFCCs. Thus, the second aim was to identify the optimal form of signal for ML. The last primary aim was to quantify the difference between performing imagined speech and inner speech when interacting with BCI. A clear distinction between the two is made, where imagined speech is the process of imagining every step of articulating a word, and inner speech is thought in its pure meaning, often referred to as inner voice. EEG is the process of measuring electromagnetic activity of the brain. The apparatus used to collect neural data is the Emotive Epoch Plus headset with 14 active channels operating at 256 Hz. The positioning of the electrodes follows the international 1020 system depicted on the right. With the flexible electrode arms easily fitting different people, the headset is simple to set up. However, it utilizes saline solution to increase the conductivity with the scalp. When electrodes are placed on long hair, leaking saline can run via the hair strands and create short circuits, also known as salt bridges, thus compromising the efficiency of the device. A common artifact in neurosignals is EOG, caused by eye and eyelid movements. These artifacts can be detected and filtered with the help of dedicated EOG channels, which Epoch Plus, as a low-cost, low-density device, does not contain. Instead, the label channels AF3 and AF4 are allocated to capture EOG artifacts. As shown in the two tables on the right, 16 prompts were selected for the experimental paradigm, which cover a wide and balanced spread of phonological features across the international phonetic alphabet. The experiment consisted of each participant repeating each prompt 100 times for both speech modalities. Each trial begins with a stimulus state, where the subject is tasked with a phoneme. This follows with a brief preparation state and a 3 second imagination state, where the subject repeats the prompt 5 times. Lastly, 4 seconds are given for the subject to refresh their mind. As previously mentioned, the signal from Epoch Plus is not completely raw. The headset applies automatic noise filtering, suppressing the strong noise created by the power lines, followed by synchronizing the headset with recording computer clock, also known as device drift correction. Pre-processing of EEG signal is done in four main steps. The signal is first visualized for detecting any obvious artifacts, such as the corrupted channel in the top left figure. It's dealt with by interpolating it using adjacent channels. Next, high-pass filtering at 1 Hz is applied to remove electrodrift, followed by individual component analysis to remove EOG artifacts and concluded with baseline correction. As noted earlier, participants perform five repetitions of each phone during a single trial. Each trial is split into even windows aligned with instances of imagination. Idealized, these instances represent a sinusoidal wave. The linear features, non-linear features, and MFCCs are then extracted from each window. To perform thorough analysis on the aims, each decomposition type and mode of speech is classified using both conventional and deep learning methods. Across all classifiers, it's found that superior performance is produced by the minimally processed EEG signal, which goes contrary to the studied literature supporting MFCC decomposition. The report discusses these results in depth. Data from four participants was successfully collected, and the interesting observation emerges that demonstrates no consistent support towards either imagined or inner speech between participants. Anticipated possible causes are naivety of the participants with BCI technologies, as well as the variation of personal understanding of the speech processes. However, it's also anticipated that personal ability to perform vivid imagination or clear inner thought may relate to individual strengths in creativity and abstract thinking. This concludes the presentation. I hope you enjoy reading the full report.